Welcome to the sessions, Properties of Lightweight Concrete. This is Chitanji Kunapre, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Walchang Institute of Technology. So, these are the learning outcomes. At the end of the session, student will be able to explain the concept of lightweight concrete, the properties of lightweight concrete. Uh, let us see the introduction of lightweight concrete. Uh, definition wise, lightweight concrete is produced by including large quantities of air in the aggregate in matrix or in between the matrix particles or combination of these processes. Uh, even lightweight material can be used to produce the lightweight concrete and uh, basically the major mass uh, contributing material is the aggregate. So if the unit weight is less than about 1000 kg per meter cube, that these types of aggregates are designated as a lightweight aggregate. Now why the density is less? This is only because of uh, the cellular structure or highly porous microstructure of the aggregate. So the lightweight is because of this reason only. Generally the density of a normal concrete is 2200 to 2600 kg per meter cube which leads to heavy sulphate of the structural elements. However, the density of lightweight concrete varies from 300 to 1850 kg per meter cube. So from this let us see what are the advantages of uh, lightweight concrete. Now if the density is reducing, definitely the sulphate of the structural elements will reduce. So if the structural elements are lighter, then their dead load will reduce. So reduction in the dead load of the structure, this is the first advantage. Second, uh, when the dead load will reduce, the section sizes will reduce, which facilitates the speedy construction of the building of, of the structures. Next thing is as uh, the sections are reducing, structural uh, sizes are reducing, which uh, reduces the haulage and handling cost of material as well as sections as well as the entire construction activity. Net, next thing is it is a uh, major advantage of lightweight concrete is in case of weak soils and tall structures because uh, the, in RCC structures or in the buildings generally dead load is the major contributing load in the total load. So because of a heavy dead load the spread of the foundation is more or the size of the foundation will be big in weak soils and in case of tall structure the spread is also more, size is also more. So as dead load will reduce the spread or size of the foundation will reduce so the foundation cost will reduce. And last thing is reduction in the section size, reduction in the structure, reduction in the material as well as the, the speedy construction and all other further activities of the construction for the, uh, these types of lightweight concrete structures. These uh, activities also uh, will become fast and uh, less time consuming which will give us the overall economy and that economy can be achieved all. Uh, let us see what are the properties of lightweight concrete. Now these are the following properties of lightweight concrete. I mean, the first is the compressive strength and density of the concrete which are correlated to each other. Next modulus of elasticity and the Poisson's ratio which are elastic uh, properties of the concrete. Uh, next is uh, water absorption and moisture content and uh, creep shrinkage after uh, hardened state thermal expansion and conductivity okay so these are uh, basically uh, primary properties of the lightweight concrete now the suitability of lightweight concrete depends on above desired properties now let us see the first uh, property that is the compressive strength and density of the concrete basically this is the basic relationship in the concrete that is the relationship between compressive strength and uh, density so as density will improve, you, uh, the strength of the concrete will improve. In case of lightweight concrete, generally the strength is lower than that of the normal concrete. And why this is because you can see this graph which is uh, uh, giving you relationship or the plot of this graph is compressive strength versus density of the concrete. Now the density of concrete affects its strength. This figure shows an increase in strength from 30 to 60 MPa when the density is improved from 1360 to 1900 kg per meter cube. So you can see here. So 
improvement in the density leads to increase in the strength that we can see here you can see the relationship of compressor strength to density for different countries so this is germany uh, the concrete which is produced in the germany that graph you can see different countries usa germany switzerland great britain ussr russia so the relationship is explained here and uh, the strength is doubled from 30 to 60 when the density is uh, whereas the density is 1.5 times of 1360 that is 1900 kg per meter cube now let us see this uh, modulus of elasticity and poisons ratio for concrete of density 1500 to 2500 kg per meter cube and strength up to 35 MPa. So, ACI recommends this figure 2 and this equation for calculation of uh, modulus of elasticity. You can see this uh, equation that is uh, PC is equal to W plus 1.5 into 0.043 root F dash C and this will give you EC or elasticity in MPa where this f dash c is cylinder compressive strength of the concrete and this f dash t c can be calculated from this expansion that is 0 0.7 under root 0 0.7 f c k you can see this graph on x axis compressive strength in mpa on y axis modulus of elasticity in mpa this line representing normal weight concrete and this zone representing lightweight concrete these two lines are for sand uh, lightweight aggregate concrete in uh, several times the sand is uh, used to improve the density of the concrete so that why these lines are for that now this is the range for all lightweight concrete now this uh, graph explains relationship between modulus elasticity and strength now the next parameter is poison's ratio mu mu is based on several tests carried out and it varies 0.15 to 0.25 practically the mu value is 0.2 taken for lightweight concrete now my question for all of you is as per ACI what is the relationship between cylinder and cube compressive strength these are the options for you a b c d 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 now write down the answer for this question, pause the video. The answer is 0.7. So the relationship between cylinder strength and cube strength is 0.7. Now let's see absorption properties. So water absorption and moisture content. Now generally lightweight concrete is produced by using lightweight coarse aggregates and uh, lightweight pore segregates are having a higher uh, degree of absorption this is only because of their uh, cellular pattern as well as uh, microstructure is uh, highly porous so lightweight pore segregates are absorbing more water it's high, these are having high degree of absorption this absorption is in between 5 to 20 percent of the water which is uh, really high normal weight aggregates deserves two percent of the absorption now how it is uh, difficult this is for workability purpose we want water and whatever water content is given in uh, our uh, IRS or in the references this water content is for the hydration process and if this much quantity of water is absorbed so workability will be the issue so evaluating the workability in the mixed design is very difficult next is creep and shrinkage values of the creep and shrinkage are greater for lightweight concrete when it is compared to the normal concrete this is only because of the cause strength as strength increased creep becomes less so for ultra high strength uh, lightweight concrete the value of creep becomes same or equal for normal and lightweight concrete now next is thermal expansion and thermal conductivity so the thermal expansion in terms of coefficient of thermal expansion is given and it is less than normal concrete so, so because basically thermal expansion is a function of component materials for the concrete so the range for thermal expansion is 8 to 12 into 10 to minus 6 for lightweight concrete whereas it is 9 to 13 into 10 to minus 6 for normal weight concrete not much difference is there but difference is there thermal conductivity now 
lightweight concrete from this parameter of the property wise it is very excellent it has excellent insulating property so expression is given here for, uh, for thermal conductivity k is equal to 0.0, .0 not 0.72 e raised to 0.0125 w where w is unit weight of the concrete in kg per meter cube and e value is 2.7182 if you substitute w here you will get k here one thing uh, i want to explain here as density of concrete increases the thermal conductivity increases so thermal conductivity is better because only of uh, reduced density or lower density now th these are the few recommendations related to the physical properties of concrete and which are shown in table 1 and 2 table 1 is the recommended uh, slums table 2 is the relationship between water cementation and compressive strength this uh, recommended slums for th three different types of constructions are given for beams and reinforced concrete it is in between 100 and 25 minimum is 25 100 is maximum for columns building columns 100 to 25 and for slabs 75 to 25 so while designing the mix and the fresh property like slum we can select the value in between of this maximum minimum now as a guideline for taking the water cement ratio this table we can uh, refer this is approximate water cement ratio and here you can see for m20 grade of concrete the for non air, air entered concrete it is 0.68 now this is the table 3 which gives you approximate mixing water and air content requirement for different slums and nominal maximum sizes of the aggregate i am emphasizing on this that is a non air entered concrete and the water quantity for nominal aggregate size there are three sizes 10 15 20 for 20 it is 189 for 20 to 25 to 50 slump and 204 kg per meter cube for 75 to 100 these things we can use in our uh, mixed designs also these are the references for the video thank you